to the dawning of the morning of the 100th annual Brawny Bean Race, when our more loco locals gather to chase a giant bean through Beanotown Park. Can this local pensioner make it a record 14 wins in a row and claim another free year supply of Brawny Beans? Brawny Beans, the best beans for all your bean needs. I, for one, cannot wait to find out, but I'll have to because it doesn't start till later. Check your grand, Dennis. She's going to smash that brawny bean record. She's unstoppable. She's fearless. She's hurt her foot. Huh? What happened this time, Gran? Oh, just a tiny skateboarding accident. <laughs> No crazy races for at least a month, Doctor's orders. But they can't have the race without you. You're the greatest brawny beaner of all time. No, there was another, perhaps even greater than me. He showed up one year and blew the rest of us away. Mr. Brawny Bean, they called him. So light-footed, you never heard him coming, apart from a strange jangling sound. Thirteen years in a row he won, and then he vanished into thin air. Today, I was finally going to beat his record. But now... <laughs> it's so nice to hear your family's returning to its natural state, Dennis. Being losers. <laughs> Oh, letting Walter diss the proud family name? Not likely. Gran, I'm going to enter the brawny bean race for you. Uh, Dennis, you always enter the race. All of us do? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. True, but this time, I'm going to win it. Go, Dennis! Win? <laughs> Not if I've got anything to do with it, which of course I will. Dennis! 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 Please stop chanting your own name, Dennis. Oh. I'm off to the stationery cupboard for some beige paper clips and a bit of peace. Not long now, Nasha. That brawny bean is as good as ours. You catch the brawny bean? You couldn't even, I don't know, jump from one desk to another. I could do that with my eyes closed. Prove it. I will prove it. Check this proof! That Mrs. Creature! Dennis is causing a desk-related disturbance! What? Rule 314B! No unauthorised desk jumping! Detention after school! <laughs> but I'll miss the brawny bean race! Good luck at the race, Dennis. Oh, sorry, you won't be there, will you? <laughs> Sucks you're missing it, Dennis. I'm not missing anything. I'm busting out of here. It's a near impossibility. No one's skipped detention since the new headmaster started. My brother reckons there's a dark force stalking the halls on the lookout for any pupil without a pre-approved bathroom pass. He calls it the scary looking for pupils without a bathroom pass thing. Catchy. But scary thing or not, you're going to need our help to get out of here. Thank you, Ralph. All right. Rule 183. Pupils fraternising with a detentionee may also be given detention. <gasps> Go on, split or you'll miss the race too. It's down to you and me, Nasha. We're busting out and here's how. Phase one, the canteen. Primary objective, avoid dinner lady. Phase two, the master partner. Don't get distracted by the wall charts, Nasha. That algebra stuff will scramble your brain. <coughs> Phase three, creep past the headmaster's office, any sound, and we'll be in double detention for the rest of our lives. <coughs> we hit the exit and... We'll be brawny beaning it in no time. Stop prattling, Dennis. In fact, right, I must not prattle 100 times. Oh, hey, what's... Th 
Play this from a friend. Oh. What's this? Dennis, how unusually thoughtful. Teaching can be tough, so why not permanently expel some stress with my revitalizing teacher size workout? And wipe that <gasps> whiteboard. Up and down. Up Ooh. and down. Up Ooh. and down. Up I've and never down. felt so up. alive. You can do it, ladies. Thanks, Mystery Note Lever. Whoever you are, <laughs> guess this won't be so tricky after all. <laughs> Scary looking for pupils without a bathroom pass thing. Run! Time to test my latest culinary wonder. Mm, perfect. There's no way past. <laughs> Olive's food sticks to the roof of your mouth, so no wonder it makes super strong ceiling loop. This is it, Nasha. The maths department. Remember, whatever you do... Don't look at the walls! Fight it! Don't give in! Please! Or our days are numbered! Dennis! Dennis! <laughs> The headmaster's door's open. My left and the right, and we'll be right by the front door, right? Or is that left? Your nostrils rock. So long, Bastry. Huh? It's locked. I'll protect you, Nasha. The scary looking for pupils without a bathroom pass thingy? You're Ralph! I am! A friend! The note with the DVD, it was from you! But why? There's no time to explain! The brawny bean awaits! So light footed, you never heard him coming, apart from a strange jangling sound. Laters! You're Mr. Brawny Bean, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't gone by that name for a long time now. Gren said you were the best. I was, but I became arrogant. I blew all my brawny beans, neglected my caretaker duties. I got rid of one mop so no one would recognise me. I took up another. I returned to my true calling, making floors shiny and cleaning up sick. <laughs> Dennis, wait! Before you go, let me share the secret to winning the brawny bean race. Run fast. And catch the bean. Uh, great. Thanks. On your marks, get set. I'll thank you very much. A no show from Denise. The dream is over. Hope you're enjoying detention, Dennis. Knew he wouldn't let me down! No! It can't be! <coughs> Dennis! You got out! Oh, you're free! <laughs> you haven't won yet, Dennis!
<laughs> so what now? <sighs> we need to grow a new bean. The race will be rerun in six months' time! Yeah. Gran, your leg will be better. You can totally smash the brawny bean record. Booyah! <laughs> 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 Pristine Beano Town Forest, a haven of tranquility. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Found anything, Nasha? Ooh. Ooh. Yay! All train Ruby coming through. Humongous hike. How long have we been going? Oh, uh, about ten minutes thirty-eight seconds. Can we stop yet? These trainers may look cool, but they are hot. Come on, guys! Grizzly Gorilla is on his way to Beano Town, and I need to do something extreme to impress the ultimate king of outdoor survival. Oh, yeah, yeah, fanboy. You want to do something so blam, it'll become your MBFF. Obs, and what could be more blam than finding the mythical Beano Town Yeti? If it's mythical, how are we going to find it? We'll find it. And imagine how psyched Grizzly will be when I bring Bigfoot to meet him. Can I at least give these sweaty toes a breather? No way, JJ! <sighs> Evacuate the area! Wait up, guys! I can't believe Dennis actually believes in yetis. <laughs> His daft ideas mean we can have a bit of woodland fun at his expense. <laughs> we'll humiliate him so much he won't be able to show his face in Beano Town for a month. <laughs> Maybe a year. Perhaps for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh, I hate the smell of the countryside. Somebody get me some potpourri, quickly. Yeah, wheelchair wins again! Although I hope this Yeti isn't scared of loud noises. Doesn't matter. Super Stunt National will sniff him out. Ooh. Hey, Pie Face, you got any pies in here? My belly's running on empty. <laughs> huh? Pies! Stop the chops, JJ. We're doing this the Grizzly Grill away. We only eat what the forest provides. Um, they're fruits of the forest pie? Come on, it'll be fun, I promise. I'm drawing the line at eating bugs, Dennis. Mm. Oh, bye, pie. Mmm. <laughs> cool, JJ, you found berries. Hold up. Eating unidentified berries? Are you trying to poison yourselves? Besides... Guff berries! Oh, hey, I read about these in Grizzly's book. Cool. Why are they called guff berries? <laughs> you might want to take a step back. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> My dog has no nose. But how does it smell? Terrible! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing smell you've discovered! A nose blaster! Trump ah. Testrophy! <laughs> they won't get away from. Oh, the countryside! Ooh. Oh, Paul, don't look! Cover your eyes! If you don't want a potato, JJ's got some guff berries on the go. Oh, and some guffs! <laughs> Sorry, guys, but these berries are non-tastic. <laughs> you, um, you don't think there really could be a yeti, do you, Walter? Of course not, you nitwit! Now, come on. It's time to put my plan into action. What evidence do you have that the yeti is real? Inside info. Gran told me about the last bunch of kids that went in search of the yeti. This guy. Lord Snooty and his pals wanted the Yeti as a mascot for their cricket team. Five of them went into the woods. 
none of them were ever seen again. Ooh! All they found was the top hat and the severed remains of... Sorry! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yet another undefinable smell. Stench Nado, Papa Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, if you let one rip in here, you're sleeping outside with the Yeti. <laughs> yeah, mother's fur coat. Careful. It's made from a very rare Serengeti tiger hamster fur. If it gets damaged, you'll for it. Now, take it over there and terrorize those dimwits. Roar! Roar! Huh? The Yeti? Roar! That Yeti needs roaring lessons. Roar! <laughs> Famous Yeti impressions in Grand trying to grow a beard. Booyah! Oh, that was a rare and expensive tiger hamster Serengeti fur coat, and I expect you to pay for it. Huh, Walter, I didn't know you were into camping with a camera and a fur coat. Well, we are simply in the woods looking for the. Lesser spotted Beano Town Wolf Owl. <laughs> Pours off my pouch. Boy. Oh, no! was, was that JJ? Yeah. yeah. That's JJ. JJ. Keep your eyes peeled, Paul. Hmm. A Yeti head would make a spiffing addition to Daddy's collection. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, meet the Yeti. Turns out he can't get enough of my sweaty toes. <laughs> Not to mention Eau de JJ. This is fantastic. We can use you to lure the Yeti into town. Imagine Grizzly's face. Yes, imagine Grizzly's face when I walk the Yeti right past him back to my house. <laughs> It'll make such a fine ornament. Fetch! <laughs> Come on, Dennis! Get this through! That Yeti could make our fortunes! Lecture tours, public appearances, talent shows. Think of the money! No! I'm thinking of the Yeti! There's a reason the Yeti hides in the woods. If we take it to Grizzly, it'll have cameras in its face forever. We have to keep it a secret. Even if it means me not being Grizzly's NBFF. But what about Walter? First chance he gets, he'll blab to his dad. Major Decibel, Yeti, but we still have the problem of Walter. First mm. chance he gets, he'll be back with reinforcements. Mm. Oh! <gasps> Won't anyone notice that the new librarian is a Yeti? The old one has a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
over here yet. Look, there's Walter. I can't believe that Walter gets to meet Grizzly and you don't. Oh, thanks for pointing that out. And please, can you lay off the Guffberries? Guffberries? Grizzly? I've written about these, but never actually tasted one. You guys must be ultimate survival experts to have found them. Uh, yeah, I guess we are. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Gorilla. It's Gorilla. Mr. It's Gorilla. But I really don't think you want to be talking to this riff raff. You're missing your official welcoming ceremony. Oh, sorry. I, uh, uh pull my finger. Oh, OK, has to. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm telling you, Paul's not himself. He's pale. He's not eating. He's a potato. Not just any potato. You're the king of King Edwards, aren't you? Come on, Spuddy Buddy. Cheer up. Maybe he's not peeling very well. <laughs> uh -huh. I know! Paul needs a holiday! A holiday? Holy <laughs> <laughs> ah! face! Guys, anyone seen Paul? I can't find him anywhere. No, but uh, this arrived whilst you were out. <gasps> it's from Paul! The potato wrote you a letter. Whoa, that's uh, amazing, isn't it, guys? Huh? Huh? Guys? I don't believe it! The little scamp's gone on holiday without me. I wonder where he went. Potato napped Paul. Yep. Pie Face did say Paul needed a holiday. Exactly. Pie Face is going to love this. Say mash. Pie Face! Look, Paul sent me a postcard. See, I told you he'd love it. Yeah, yeah, but let's give Paul back now, OK? No way! Paul's epic road trip is just getting started. Oh, I think she looks like a sweet potato. What do you say to an angry baked potato? I don't know. What do you say to an angry baked potato? Nothing. You just butter it up. What if Paul never comes home? Game over. Paul's coming home. He will, I promise. Right after one last amazing holiday snap. <gasps> Imagine Paul doing the walk of death over the Grand Chip Fryer Canyon. Grand Chip what now? At Beano Burgers. We take the photo of the Chip Fryer and fake Paul crossing it on a tightrope. Pieface will think it's blamtastic. No, he won't. He'll be worried sick. This has gone too far. Count me out too. But, oh, God. Maybe we should quit while we're ahead. <laughs> quit while we're ahead? <laughs> Seriously, this one's gonna blam dunk it out of park. Whoa! Beano Town Bylaw 438. No skateboarding with dogs. <sighs> Not worth it, Nasha. We've got bigger potatoes to fry. 
working for this? What, pray tell, are you doing with your best friend's best friend? Nasha, fetch! <laughs> Where are your manners, Nasha? Say thank you. No! Stop, you foul breath hound! Stop! <laughs> Be so quick to laugh, Dennis. That rotten root to vegetables going to be mashed before the day is out. Here's the deal. We get in, get eyes on the chip fryer, get the snap and get out. Then all we need to do is paste Paul into the photo and the daredevil potato has his big finale. Hello, bonjour. What can I get you? Bonjour to you too. Chips, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Now's our chance. Ooh, time to find out just how precious this potato really is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Pipeface sees Paul through the walk of death. He's gonna be. Huh? Where, where is Paul? I left him right here! No! Hey! Hey, wait! I think you've got the wrong potato! Huh? I have a wrong potato? Uh, n no, nothing. Carry on. Mm, buff. Everything okay, Dennis? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Everything's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong at all. So, Dennis, we brought Pieface here to cheer him up because he's really missing Paul. You hear that, Dennis? He wants Paul back. Oh, nothing will ever cheer me up again. Except maybe a plate of chips. <gasps> Do you think he'll ever figure out that chips are made of potatoes? No, and we must never speak of this again. Chip, Dennis? Best chips ever. Wish Paul had been there to share them. <laughs> Are you going to tell him or shall I? Um, well, the thing is... Oh my, what's this? A perfectly timed paper plane. Whatever next? It's um, a special offer from Butch Butcher. Uh, it, it says giving away free pies right now. Pies! What just happened? Pie face heard the word free pies. I had to say something. Look. <gasps> Walter's got Paul. If you losers want your mouldy potato back, Dennis and his mutt have to be the butlers at my Beano Town Glitterati garden party. There is no way that is happening. I'll just have to figure out how to rescue Paul. Pie face will never know. There weren't any free pies. Oh, this is turning into the worst day ever. You have got to tell him now! My face, promise not to get mad about Paul's holiday. No! Wait, so Paul didn't leave me for a sweet potato after all? Thank you! Thank you! Yeah, no problem. Hey, look, don't worry, Pieface. We'll get Paul back. Even if I have to work as Walter's butler for a week. You do that for me. For Paul. Unless anyone's got a better idea. Actually, I might have an idea. It involves pie. <laughs> Butler, more drinks over here, now. Oh, Walter, how marvellous. A trolley doggy. Yes, he's a bit smelly, but we manage. <laughs> Time for the main course. Baked potatoes. Where's the pizza and piñatas? What an inspiring party cuisine. Dennis, as my loyal little butler, I'll let you be the first to choose a potato to bake. Oh, oh and here's a fork to prick it full of holes. 
Come on, we're waiting. Oh, saved by the bell. Thought they'd never get here. What is that? As you've been such a wonderful boss, I decided to go beyond the call of duty and prepare the main course myself. I didn't ask for pie. You're getting it anyway. Now! Go get Paul! Mission accomplished. <laughs> so glad you didn't eat Paul after all. Hmm? What do you mean? I thought those chips at Beano Burgers were Paul. Ooh. You mean chips are made from? Yes, I mean, no, no, I mean, no. Guess I'll just have to eat crisps instead. <laughs> 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 <laughs>